My family, the UK tabloids, are sending a message to Prince Harry and Meghan that doesn't matter where Harry and Meghan are, where they live, or where they travel to. UK media are saying that they intend on stalking and harassing Harry and Meghan wherever they go. UK media are sending a message to Harry and Meghan that there's nowhere Nowhere that they can't get to. Just to try and my family destroy the lives that Harry and Meghan have established for themselves, my family, in Montecito. And my family, let's be honest, what is happening to Harry and Meghan, it is harassment. They are being harassed by the UK tablet media who are following the orders of William and Charles. And my family, we must condemn what is going on. And we condemn the ongoing harassment, stalking, abuse of Harry and Meghan at the hands of the British tabloid media. Now my family, let me tell you what has happened. My family, we are learning that the local newspaper in Montecito, called the Montecito Journal. My family is writing gossip, you know, pertaining to Harry and Meghan's marriage. They are, my family, speculating on the state of Harry and Meghan's marriage using the same talking points of the British tabloid media. And my family, Wait till you hear exactly just who is behind this. My family, can you please hear this yourself? My family, and I'm reading the Monte Cito Journal. My family. And I quote, Meghan Markle visited Girls Inc. of Greater Santa Barbara last week to talk about a new digital wellness program co-founded by the by Harry Meghan's actual foundation. At the event, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, told the twins that she was one of the most bullied people in the world. As the, as the gathering used emojis to describe, you know, different online scenarios that impacted emotionally. It was her Second public appearance with Prince Harry since her visit to Children's Family Hostel, LA, on October 5th. As British royal experts continue to speculate that the Raven Rock to some are going their separate ways, as they live increasingly separate lives. <laughs> Do you know why I'm laughing? <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because even the person who is writing this gossip, this work of fiction, my family, is uh, is wrong about my family, what they have even said. My family, let me tell you where he's wrong. This person says, and I quote, that it was Megan's second public appearance without Harry since her visit to Children's Hospital, LA, on October 5th. My family, let's all be very, very clear here. My family, on October 2nd, when Prince Harry was in Lesotho to promote my family, his heritage in the ballet. Megan was in Greater Santa Barbara visiting Girls Inc. My family. And the video of my family, you know, the event was then released, my family, days later on the My Family International Day of the Girl. My family. That happened days, my family, later. That happened, my family, days. You know, 
my family later. So my family, you know, the first event here, my family was uh, when Meg and my family went to Girls Inc. at Greater Santa Barbara. And the second public appearance that Megan made, my family, was my family at Children's Hospital LA. The only thing is my family is that my family videos and pictures, my family, of Megan, you know, visiting Girls Inc. of Greater Santa Barbara was released days later. My family, after Megan, you know, made a public appearance. Our children's my family hostel LA. And my family, you are not gonna be surprised about who's the person who has written this work of fiction. <laughs> my family, now let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Now, my family, the piece is spent by Richard Miniards, who my family was. A Fleet Street royal reporter. Before my family, he relocated to California 13 years ago and joined the Monte Cito Journal. And my family, so my family, UK Media, have a point guy, have a point man, my family, who used to work as a royal reporter in the UK. There, my family, living in Monte Cito. And they're using him to spread their, my family, you know, dirty work. To write nonsense, hoping that it gets to Prince Harry and Meghan, my family. It's no wonder why I have seen, you know, multiple UK tablets are reporting about my family, you know, the Montesto Journal, you know, reporting on, you know, gossip created by UK media. About Harry and Meghan's marriage. Now, my family, let me kindly just say this. It is also bad to see that uh, we have some British carnival of so called experts. Or my family, they call themselves raw reporters. My family are trying to go to the US to spread. They're my family, you know, toxic agenda. You know, to write the same nonsense that they were write in the UK in the United States of America. And they think that this is okay. They think that this is acceptable. My family, it is not. It is not okay. It is not okay. It is not okay. And my family, from what I can see here, I feel like, I don't know why, I feel like they're trying to lure Harry Meghan out to come out together and make a public appearance to quell all of these narratives being spread that they aren't okay. There are issues in their marriage. There is, you know, there are problems that Harry and Meghan have together as a couple and they're going their separate ways. Some tabloids have said that they're divorcing my family. You know, and my family, those are nothing but lies. Those are nothing but lies being spread by UK media who are hell-bent in seeing Harry and Meghan divorcing. My family, I can see what's happening here. I told you all, if Harry and Meghan are not seen for like a week or two weeks, you begin my family hearing divorce rumors. UK media are desperate for Harry and Meghan to be visible. That way they can complain about Harry and Meghan being seen and make money for my family, you know, writing negative stories about Harry and Meghan. You know? My family, you can even see for yourself. UK media are only invested in stories about Harry and Meghan. They don't care about William, about Charles, about Kate, about Camilla. They're mostly only interested in creating drama around Harry and Meghan, in creating Harry and Meghan content. If they claim to be William and Kate supporters, yet they claim that William is so popular, but yet my family, they rarely even talk about Prince William. They only ever speak about him if they're using his name to bash Prince Harry. And my family, that is wrong. That is wrong. 
So my family, I'm not surprised that the person who is writing this gossip, my family, worked as a raw reporter in the UK. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. My family, you can see for yourself that UK media are desperate to find ways to gain access to my family, Harry Meghan. My family. To intrude on Harry and Meghan privacy. To harass Harry and Meghan wherever they go. To make them regret even stepping back as senior members of the royal family. What I have seen is that UK media want Harry to regret it. Leaving. More than four years later after Harry and Meghan played the UK still, UK media want Harry to regret leaving. And their strategy that they are using or employing to try and make Harry regret leaving is by attacking his wife, is by showing Prince Harry. It doesn't matter where you go to, where you live, we still have people there. We'll keep on spreading that, you know, vile toxicity that UK media have been spreading about Harry and Meghan in the UK. UK media are sending a message to Prince Harry. Wherever he goes to, wherever he is, they can be able to gain access to him. They can be able to create a toxic environment for him and Meghan, like what my family, you know, UK media are trying to do to Harry and Meghan. And my family, we are seeing that in how my family, UK media, is using proxies like the Heritage Foundation to try and get Harry deported from the US and back to the UK. They want to create a toxic atmosphere for Harry and Meghan in the US like they did to Harry and Meghan in the UK. You know, to make them leave my family. To make Harry even regret leaving. And my family, I don't see how Prince Harry can ever, ever regret leaving when UK media keep on reminding him just why he took Meghan and Archie and fled the UK. Because by continuing to abuse him, abuse his wife, go after his kids, you are reminding Prince Harry that's why he fled the UK and he clearly made the right choice. I firmly believe that Meghan is way much happier to wake up in the morning in Montecito than wake up in the morning in the UK. Being surrounded by people who my family made extremely racist offensive comments about her and also her and Harry's kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. And my family, what I can see happening here is that they are trying to lure Harry and Meghan out to come out together and make a public appearance to disprove all this work of fiction, all these allegations that UK media are spreading pertaining to Harry and Meghan's marriage. You know, whereby they are desperate to see Harry and Meghan divorcing, whereby they are pushing, applying pressure, hoping that Harry and Meghan's my family marriage collapses. And my family, this is evil and cruel. I repeat, it is evil and cruel. You know, what the UK tablet media are doing it is evil and it is also my family cruel. You know? My family, let me tell you a story. You know, you know, that my family, I want to tell you in response to what is happening. My family, there are couples online who show pictures of, the, of themselves, of their kids. You know, I remember that I used to follow this uh, family on YouTube called the Ace Family on, on YouTube. You know, I, I like their, their theme song. They, they, they seem to be like a, a happy couple. I used to follow their, their every move. I'm like, wow, what a beautiful family. What a nice couple. So, so nice. So, so nice. And you know, when they post pictures of themselves and the kids' social media, you think, wow, this is true love. This is amazing. It is the perfect love story. I love it so much. I love it so much. I used to follow this, you know, family on YouTube. It's called the Ace Family. It's called the Ace Family. You know? And my family, and yet, a couple of months ago, they announced that they were, you know, separating, that they were divorcing. Why am I saying this? 
I want to, you know, say this because of the family. There are couples who post pictures of themselves online, who showcase that they are happy, that they're full of love, that they love each other, you know, that, that this is their perfect life, you know, perfect love story. There are couples who, you know, show pictures of themselves on social media. And you think everything is okay. You think everything is perfect. My family. But in reality, things are not great. My family. Behind the scenes. You know? Now, my family, UK Medium, are desperate for Harry Meghan to my family, you know, show their faces. To come out and disprove all their allegations. To come out and just reassure everybody that all is well between Harry and Meghan. If Harry and Meghan are to take the bait, I can promise you, my family, every single week, you'll be seeing Harry and Meghan coming out and making a public appearance to show the world that all is well in both Harry and Meghan's marriage, if Harry and Meghan will take the bait. But Harry and Meghan are not taking the bait, my family. They are living their lives as UK media continue to, you know, wish or, you know, my family call for a divorce between Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan are living their lives, my family. You know, however they want to live my family, their lives. That's what Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are doing. They are living their, my family lives. You know? And my family, Harry and Meghan, don't want to perform for the media. My family wants to do what is right by them. And also what is right by their kids, my family. You know, I've had even, you know, some carnival of oh, so-called experts calling for Prince and Megan to open, you know, a show media account whereby they can put pictures of themselves, of themselves, of their kids. And Harry and Megan just won't do that. They just won't do that, my family. Because all this gossip, all this work of fiction being created by British royal reporters, my family, who are speculating on the state of Harry Megan's marriage because they are all hell bent in destroying Harry Megan's union, hoping that, and they hope that if they do that, the Prince Harry will come out to the UK. My family, you know, you know first of all, it's even, I, I just don't get how they think really. I, I, I don't, I don't. You know, how do you de de try to destroy someone's marriage and then hope that that person is going to come back to you? Someone who so openly bullies Prince Harry. Who was so openly bullied and attacked, you know, Harry's wife and attacked the family's kids. There are things that a man can never and will never ever forget. You know? And my family, even Harry himself said this in an interview with ITV's Rebecca Barry about the UK W media. Harry said they have pushed me too much. They have pushed me too much. Those were Prince Harry's words. They have pushed me too much. UK tablets have pushed me too much. Those were Prince Harry's words. My family. Which is why Prince Harry family said that that's why family he intends on, you know, continuing to proceed with his legal cases against the UK tablet media. They have pushed him too much. And they've gone after him, his wife, and even his kids. Now, UK media would hope that that would make Prince Harry, you know, scared or bend the knee to them. Or my family even allow UK media into his life. But give my family, that is not the path that Prince Harry has chosen to take. My family. The more he go, UK media go after my family, his family, Harry's family, Meghan, Archie, Lily Bedana, the more Prince Harry family doesn't want to settle my family, his cases against the UK Tablet media, because I know for a fact that uh, Sun Tablet must have offered Harry money to settle his four, my family, his case on unlawful gathering of information. But Harry must have refused. I don't know if my family Harry will decide that, you know what, in the future, he'll say maybe, you know, let's settle this case. I don't know. I don't know. But from what I've seen, Harry clearly has no intention, my family, in doing that. You know? My family. He clearly has no intentions of only in doing that. So, you can really think that by abusing Prince Harry, that by wishing divorce upon him and Meghan, 
that they're going to get hurry back. They're not going to get hurry back. They are not going to get hurry back. They are not. You know? You know, UK media always reminisce about the, the, the path whereby that whereby Harry's life was like, whereby he was drinking, being an alcoholic, going to party out at night when family being seen in Vegas naked with the other women. They they think about that, you know, past life that Harry lived as, you know, as as if it, it, it were like phone memories. They think of that, you know, life as if it was like phone memories of Prince Harry. When I was drinking, I found party naked, I found with other women. They think of those days as if it were, you know, my family, great days. I, I, it's because they hate the responsible man that Harry has become. They want Harry to be someone who makes mistakes in my family. That's what they want. And they can't stand who, I, who my family has become. A responsible husband and father. Who puts his family first? Who puts his wife first? My family. You know? Windsor men respecting their wives is something which is unheard of. My family. And look at me, they just can't understand how Prince Harry can love Meghan so much that he just wants you know, sit there and watch as they abuse his wife. That Prince Harry would leave the raw fold to protect his family. They don't understand it. You know, more than four years later, after Harry fled the UK, they still can't understand it, my family. And every single day, they try to apply as much pressure as possible onto Harry and Meghan, hoping that it leads to, you know, cracks in their marriage. But I believe one thing here. The more that UK tablets hope to see Harry and Meghan divorcing, the more Harry and Meghan will do everything in their power to protect what they have, to protect their marriage, their love, their children. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. You know, my family, that's what I believe. However, what I can't stand is seeing a carnival of so-called experts, my family. You know, spreading that, you know, those lies that UK media are spreading, my family, in Montecito. My family, I can't stand that. I can't stand that I can't stand that one bit. Because my family, Montecito is a safe haven. Harry himself said this about his and Megan's family life in Montecito. Harry said his family feels safe in Montecito. Megan feels safe. Archie, Lilibet are safe there. He is safe, my family, and happy there. Harry himself said that last year in an interview with ITV's Tom Bradby when promoting his memoir spare. My family, it's a place whereby Harry and Meghan sought, you know, refuge after fleeing the UK. When you see the media trying to gain a hold of that environment, my family, that worries me. That worries me. That worries me. Maybe that's why even they're reporting that a local paper in Montecito now is talking about this, you know, gossip that Harry and Meghan are going separate ways. Maybe that's why they're doing it. You know? Because Wikimedia are sending a message to Prince Harry and Meghan saying this. We have somebody who, are, who works there, who worked for us, worked here for the British press. You know? And that we can reach you, we can, you know, create, you know, all this gossip around you. And that we won't leave you alone. That's the message that Wikimedia Media trying to send to Harry and Meghan. And my family, it is wrong. 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 And my family, they need to leave Harry, Meghan, and their kids alone. My family. And my family, think about this. For, think about this, for example, family. Think about this, for example. You know, look at William and Kim Moulton. <laughs> Who are the perfect example? How many times have those two been seen together? Just this year. William mostly does engagements on his own without Kim Bolton. most of the times most of the times 
That is what William does. He does engagements on his own without Kay Milton. Most of the times, that is what William does. Engagements without Kay Milton. You know? And my friend, not once do you see Wikipedia saying that are um, William and Kay Milton divorcing. Are they going their separate ways? Whatever it is, they accuse Harry Megan of. Make no mistake, my family, it is, it is happening. It has happened to William and Kim Milton, who already have gone their separate ways. My family, you know, who already have gone their separate ways, my family, you know. And my family, you know, I just can't stand that a carnival or circle expert, my family from the UK who's going to live in Fonley Montecito, is now stalking my family, Harry Megan, in Montecito. I find that wrong. I find that appalling. I find that appalling. And we must condemn the ongoing harassment that Harry Megan are facing at the hands of the UK tabloid media who refuse to leave Harry and Megan alone. Now, my family, Richard Miniards, who's behind this work of fiction, my family, you know, formerly worked for the Daily Mail, Daily Mail and Daily Mirror, my family. So, honestly, are you surprised? Are you surprised? Are you surprised? And now my family is spreading those, uh, you know, nonsense, those, you know, lies are spread in the UK, in the US. And that's why those who my family have worked on Prince Street should not be able to get jobs in the United States of, States of America and call themselves reporters and call themselves, my family, journalists. You know, they should not. They should not. You know, my family, you know, just because Harry Meghan don't post, you know, pictures of their lives on social media, doesn't mean that, you know, something is, you know, wrong between Harry and Meghan. No, my family. In fact, you'll find that couples who my family don't even post pictures on social media are the happiest couples ever. Are the happiest couples ever. My family. You know? And that is the truth and nothing but the truth. You know? And my family, for UK media, who keep on trying to all the time, then to my family, you know, provoke a reaction from Harry and Meghan every single time, every single time. They have got to stop doing what they're doing. They have got to stop this harassment, stalking, bullying of Harry and Meghan. You know? All their desires of seeing Harry and Meghan divorcing, my family, may it never ever happen. May it never ever be fulfilled, my family. And may Harry and Meghan be married forever and love each other forever and ever and ever and ever. And my family may no weapon formed against Harry, against Archie, and my family against Princess Libidana. My family may no weapon formed against them ever prosper. So my family keep praying for Harry and Meghan because what they face every single day is not easy. You can meet their killing showing that they will hound Harry and Meghan to the ends of this earth. And my family, you know, we must condemn this, what is happening. We must condemn this ongoing harassment of Harry and Meghan and demand that UK media back off and let Harry and Meghan live and love each other in peace. My family, now may God bless you all and stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever. And may no weapon from against Harry, Meghan, Archie. And also, Lily Bet, the Diane of my family, ever prosper. You know? My family, it is cruel that every single day we keep on seeing how the media, the ones who are pushing for a divorce between Harry and Meghan, it is cruel, it is evil. But they are doing it, you know, because they are being told to do so by William and Charles. And my family, William and Charles are married. It is shameful that they want to see Harry divorced, lonely, broken. My family. Those people have never ever loved Prince Harry. They've only ever used him. And they can't stand seeing him, seeing him be free 
outside the value of their control. And I pray that Harry and Meghan will always be free from the farm, free from the Mayfound institution family, and continue to be financially independent from the farm. You know? Now my family, I want to hear your opinion on what we have uh, just discussed. You know? May God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lily Bredana and Doria Raglan family, and all of you members is gonna tell me never wins love wins and stay tuned to this video love you also forever and may god bless each and every single one of you and may no weapon pronouns Ari megan archie and also lily Brett, diana ever prosper william and kate have never ever are rarely seen together my family but you media never ever say never ever speculate about the state of their marriage my family in fact they they keep on trying to, you know, protect them, defend them, and say that all is well, my family. It is, you know, shameful what they're doing to Harry and Meghan. Shameful. Shameful, shameful, shameful. Shameful. You know? And my family, Harry and Meghan refused to perform for the Wikimedia. Refused to perform for the Wikimedia. And my family, Harry and Meghan will continue living their lives and doing my family what they please. You know? And may Harry and Meghan be married forever and ever and ever. Stay tuned to the next video. Love you. Always and forever. And God bless you all. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustice. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan. Showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.